This video is on reflection, transmission, and color. Uh, this will help you with the reflection, transmission, and color worksheet that uh, that you have to do. Um, the first part, first couple questions, just are pretty basic, simple. If you go through the physics classroom website uh, and uh, just look at lesson two, you should be able to find the answers to that. But I think number three is a little bit more difficult. Uh, number three needs a little bit of an explanation, so we'll actually go through and give you some explanation for it. Um, the color of opaque objects, remember we said that opaque objects reflect light. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at pieces of paper. Paper is opaque. Uh, it does reflect certain colors of light, but it also absorbs other lights. Uh, when you see the acronym ROYGBIV or ROY GBIV, those are actually all the colors that make up white light. So it'd be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is kind of purplish, and then violet. Uh, all of those colors make up white light. So essentially, this is white light hitting the paper and this paper is capable of only absorbing red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet. So essentially it's pretty simple. What you have to figure out is which one of the colors is it going to reflect? We know that it absorbs red, it absorbs orange, it absorbs yellow. So we can, oops, get rid of the yellow, the blue, the indigo, and the violet. And what you're left with is green. So this one reflects green and it appears green. So green paper actually absorbs red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet, and it uh, reflects just the green. So that's what you actually see. Um, for the very next one, we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So this is white light again. And this paper is capable of absorbing all of the letters at the very end except for red. So we can cross all those off. So this one will actually reflect red and it will appear red because it reflects that red. Next one, same type of thing. This one is a little bit different. Notice that it's Roy G. Biv. It is capable of absorbing every single color. So we're going to take all of the colors off here and uh, therefore we say that it reflects no color and it actually will then appear black. The absence of color is black. Uh, if uh, the paper is capable of absorbing just yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, it will reflect red and orange. And so the paper will appear reddish orange. I got to get used to this tab a little bit. Uh, so basically, that's how the reflection works. Not really difficult. Uh, there's some things that we'll do later that you'll see, but that's really not too much of a problem. What are black and white? So since we already kind of looked at black a little bit, are they colors? Uh, why does really the presence of all the colors? These are little color swatches, and what we're doing is we're taking red light and green light and mixing them. Notice that you'll get a yellow. Here we've got red and blue makes the magenta. We have uh, green and blue makes cyan. But if you mix all of them, you'll notice that right in the center, it's a mixture of the red, the green, the blue, or the yellow, the cyan, and the magenta, and that makes white. Black would be the absence of all the colors. So if no color is coming through at all, you basically see black. You don't see anything at all. Um, and that's how black works. That's how white works. Makes it pretty simple. Transparent materials, this would be like a film that's colored red or green or blue or whatever it is. Um, sometimes uh, you'll see windows that are stained glass. I think that's probably the easiest way of thinking about it. So the pigments here um, in this uh, piece of glass, oops, I'm going to have to go back here. The pigments in the piece of glass, I'm going to back up a couple times. The pigments in the piece of glass are able to absorb red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet. So those things are not allowed to go through. Um, so what we can do is we can cross those letters off. So red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, and violet. And the only light that comes out on this side then would be green. So we get green light, so I'm going to put a G there, actually gets to come out. 
For the next one, the pigment capable of absorbing uh, Roy IV. So this right here will absorb Roy. It'll also absorb I and V. So now we get both green and blue. So both of those colors are allowed to come out. And so this one appears greenish blue is what you would see. The pigment here uh, that's absorbed is yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So you're left with both red and orange. So this one is reddish, red-ish, orange. Can't get this thing to work the way I want to. Uh, reddish, orange. Down on the bottom, we've made it a little bit easier here. We have just red, green, and blue. This one's capable of, of, of absorbing red. So the red is gets stuck inside the glass. Uh, so this one is just going to be green and blue. And so we know that this one appears greenish blue. So we're going to write green. Maybe we'll write greenish blue. Uh, this one's capable of absorbing green. And so because it absorbs green, we know that this one is red and blue. So it's reddish blue. So we can write that in red ish blue and then finally on the last one this one will take uh, orange well we don't have orange coming in so don't worry about it yellow don't worry about it green uh, yeah it does take that one blue okay and so now we can be done because there's nothing really else left so the only thing that comes through this one is just going to be red so this one will appear red and uh, that's essentially how we do the transparent materials in color and looking at what's going on. So they want to know, you've got a pair of sunglasses and they want to know what colors of visible light will a cyan or a bluish green pair of sunglasses transmit. So what color will they transmit? These sunglasses are transparent. So the colors that are, nor that are not absorbed are transmitted. So cyan sunglasses transmit both uh, green and blue, so green and blue. Now we have to figure out which ones the absorber block. So we're going to go back to Roy G Biv, and uh, we know that we don't worry about green and blue because those two are transmitted, so they absorb red, orange, yellow, indigo, and violet. Um, so it would be Roy IV. So I think after that, you should be able to kind of tell what happens to opaque and to transparent objects when you have light hit them. And that's the end of this one.